keeping in view the success of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, Ubisoft decided to make another pirate themed action adventure video game, which was titled Skull and Bones. And after its release on February 13, 2024, fans are comparing it with the 2013's Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. And the comparisons are not good. Fans are criticizing the game and if you search this game on Google, you will find that only 45% of people liked it. And the numbers may change in the future. And in this video, we will talk about how Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag is better than Skull and Bones. We will talk about some general aspects of the game and then we'll try to explain it to you in this particular video. So without wasting any more of your precious time, let's get into the video. Assassin's Creed games were never focused on swordplay. Even the longtime fans of the franchise know that the combat is mainly focused on counter kills. You press one button and then counter and the enemy is finished. And with Skull and Bones, fans were expecting a complex swordplay. But Ubisoft instead pulled a 360 and we got nothing. Instead, when you board a ship, you'll be prompted to a window with different options telling you what do you want to do with the ship with little to no combat, skipping that part entirely. It's a major step down as compared to Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag because that game offered some sort of combat experiences. But this game ignores that completely and just throws a window upon us. It's a major step down and fans were not expecting it. Because if you're making a game focused on pirates, then you need to introduce combat as it's a major part of that experience. But Ubisoft did the opposite and the result is in front of us. Although Ubisoft is not known for creating realistic games, but in this game they tried to implement realistic mechanics. But they failed miserably. Let's take a look at them. In Skull and Bones, you now have a stamina bar for a ship. Does it make any sense? Well, no. Ships don't have any kind of stamina bar and we know what they were thinking when they added this option. This stamina bar represents the stamina of the crew and not the ship itself. But why bother adding this mechanic while the rest of the game is not focused on realism? In addition to this, they added another mechanic, which is realistic maneuvering. If we look at AC4, whenever you are in combat or are just roaming the seas, you can maneuver your ship easily without any effort. It seems like there's no weight of the ship, but Skull and Bones fixes this problem and adds weight to the ship, making it harder to maneuver, just like a real life captain would do. And it's better in that regard, but if you look at some other unrealistic mechanics, adding these options wouldn't have made any difference. But still, they did that and it didn't make any kind of difference. There is no denying that Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag set up the game's concept. Without Black Flag, there will be no Skull and Bones. Both of the games are focused on ships, pirates, and sea travel. There are some aspects in which Skull and Bones is better than Black Flag, but there are a very few of them. But if we look more openly, then Black Flag still holds up. The main thing that we noticed in Skull and Bones are the facial animations. In Skull and Bones, despite this game being in development for the past 11 years, the facial animations are worse. If we look at the facial animations of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, we find that those animations are 10 times better than this game's animations. Also, a matter of fact being that that game was 11 years old. And this explains to us that how Ubisoft has changed drastically. It used to make better games, but now what they're making is total trash. In terms of facial animations, the game looks much worse because in today's time, every game is trying to improve upon every aspect. But what Skull and Bones did is absolutely opposite. They wanted to make this game as next-gen as possible, but it seems like they failed. Another aspect in which Skull and Bones fail is the damaging system. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag wasn't an RPG game. It was a single player experience with naval combat focused more on tactics above all else. Where you could even beat a level 20 man of war just in the start of the game. All by using tactics. 
But since Skull and Bones is an MMORPG video game, which means that every damage that you do is based on numbers. Since we all know that Ubisoft is kind of obsessed with RPG video games, they turned Assassin's Creed games into RPG games and profited a lot. And it seems like they wanted to copy the success of those games into this game, but they failed. The main thing which made AC4 great was the naval combat. You didn't have to worry about any leveling up system but instead you just had to use your brain and IQ to defeat higher level ships. But in Skull and Bones, it's just the opposite. And this thing alone makes Assassin's Creed 4 at the top of the list. And this is why we think that Skull and Bones is quite different and worse as compared to Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Now keep in mind that Skull and Bones is not entirely a worse project. It is better than Assassin's Creed 4 in some aspects, but not many aspects. Assassin's Creed 4 is no doubt the best pirate action adventure game ever made by Ubisoft. And they tried to replicate their own success but failed miserably. They tried to copy what Assassin's Creed 4 did in its first go, but they didn't copy it well. They could have made this game a lot better considering the time that they took which was 11 years. Rockstar games take that time and make a masterpiece of a game. But look what companies like Ubisoft do. But in the end we would like to say that it's our personal opinion. There are still some people who are enjoying this game and playing it non-stop. So we made this video based on our personal opinion and the opinion of the majority of the players. So that was it for this video. We hope that you guys loved this video. If you did then be sure to give it a like. Also let us know in the comment section which feature is the worst or best in Skull and Bones. We are hoping to see you in another interesting and amazing video. Till then, take care and goodbye.